Hey, Tommy C here from A Shop with Point Productions, and we're gonna go over the top story today. Here is what I have for you: the John Scott hit on Louis Erickson. It's no doubt it was dirty, it was terrible, the guy should get suspended, he's going to be suspended. But here is the thing, that's not the only thing in question here. John Scott has absolutely no priors in this area when it comes to suspensions, so he probably should get what anybody would get at this type of hit. But John Scott is an enforcer and he's absolutely hated by the media because of a preseason ball against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Look for Scott to get upwards of 10 games, and here's why. The NHL wants to make an example of him. It's not fair, it's not right, and it's inconsistent, and it doesn't help, but they're going to do it anyway. That's my prediction. Here's what I'll say. Speaking of balls that happened in preseason, here's what I got. Gabe Clarkson is set to return to the Toronto Maple Leafs from a 10-game suspension for a role that he participated in with John Scott uh, tonight against Columbus. Look out for that for David Clarkson's return. Here, here's the games to look out for tonight. Here's the interesting story. Henrik Lundqvist, he's hurt, he's out. He's not coming back anytime soon. So they called up a guy named Cameron Talbot. Cameron, I think his name. Well, here's the thing about that. The issue with this is, he is from the University of Alabama. A real strange route to go to the NHL. And this particular school has only produced one more, one other NHL. So this is, a uh, Kind of a new thing for him and new thing for us to get a guy from this university. But best of luck to Cam Talbot. If I'm saying your name right, I don't care if I'm not saying your right name right. That's top stories. Peace. <laughs>